Right, so positive day delivers. This is Dr. DJ Disunga from Magin Change Project. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng mga delivers natin. And sa first time ko tayo panood sa YouTube channel, thank you very much. Please subscribe, click na po yan, Dr. DJ Disunga. Alright, so uh, sa lahat ng mga gusto magpa-coach sa atin online or online muna. And business coaching uh, message lang po kayo sa akin. Alright, and tuloy-tuloy pa rin pala ang ating COVID 1K drive sa lahat ng mga gusto uh, tumulong sa ating mga frontliners. Naka-first batch na po tayo, second batch ulit. And salamat sa mga nag-send ng donations po. Alright, so these are nine, okay? Nine hard to learn skills but high paying. Alright? So, mahira pero uh, sulit naman pag sinabi natin. Okay? So, why Doc G? Anong, bakit ba pupunta tayo dyan? Or why do I have to learn at least one or two of these skills? Or kahit isa lang. Okay? So, number one, aside from, you know, it can give you uh, uh, more money, more income. Aside from that, parang it's maximizing God's talents to you. God's gift to you. Kasi baka isa dito, gift sa'yo ni Lord, hindi mo siya nagagawa. Okay? And also, uh, parang challenge mo sa sarili mo na, sige nga, i-conquer ko yung area na yan. Sige nga, yung isang bagay na yan, gawin ko nga siyang motivation sa sarili ko. Okay? So, gawin ko kaya siya. Alright? So, para siyang i-challenge yourself. Sabi ko nga, eh, ano eh, we have only one lifetime. Okay? So, isulit natin yan. Umalis tayo so, dun sa mga, dun sa masyadong komportable buhay natin. Yung daily routine, daily task na kayang-kaya mo na. So, punta tayo sa next level. Alright? So, let's start. Nine. Okay? Nine hard to learn skill but high paying. Wait lang po ah. So, yan. So, Paano hindi tayo masyadong maingay? Mayroon natin po. Magkape po tayo. Third coffee ni Doc ngayon. Kaya... Okay, so, <laughs> sinag pa palpitin si Doc, eh. Okay. Alright, so, unahin na natin. Okay, so, challenge yourself, ha. So, kailangan may matutunan ka dito. Isa o dalawa. Dalawa. Okay, kaya. Alright, so, this 2020, after ng crisis na kinakaharap natin, eh, uh, gawin na natin to. Okay, so, number one is, eh, these are hard, kasi hindi ko nga po sila magawa, eh. <laughs> okay, technical skill. So, ito yung mga, it has something to do with uh, computer, okay? So, it has something to do with uh, yung mga madetalying skill like uh, doing the website, uh, Facebook ads, social media manager, copywriting. So, lahat ng yan, o paggawa ng poster, so mahirap yan. It's more on technical, more on something like you using your, your skill and your brain, sabay. <laughs> Okay, uh, parang pag ginamit mo, ginawa mo, gina, use your hand, so kasama si brain na ginagamit. So, it's uh, technical skill. Okay, pero mahirap gawin, pero uh, it's high paying. Okay, so like doing the SEO, so madame. Okay, so doing the app do, do, uh, and everything. Okay, so may matutunan kang isa dyan. It's hard but it's high paying. Okay, why high paying though? Eh, ang dami kong binabayaran na technical person sa paligid ko eh. So, high paying. And they are just doing it. Yung iba sa akin ha, I uh, have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 persons working for me ng part-time. So, they have their full-time job. So, meron lang sa akin na uh, gumagawa niya ng 2 hours a day or 5 hours a week. So, ganun lang ginagawa nila sa akin. So, pero medyo hindi naman ganun kamahal pero high paying siya. Lalo kung mag full-time ka dyan. Iba, how much is the fee of a social media manager? A social media manager, isang client mo lang, isang client ah, you're only working few hours a week, is 18,000. So, kung matutunan mo yon as social media manager, as copywriter, as virtual assistant, diba, you can have it part-time. Okay? Tapos kung, kung nakita mo, okay, marami na ako nakita na, na nag, okay sa kanila, then ngayon, full-time job na nila. Right? So, you try to see ano yung pwede mong isang technical skill. You work on that. It's not yet late. Kung ikaw yung nasa 20s ngayon, 30s, kaya-kaya mo, kahit nga 40s eh. Ako, ayoko na lang kasi mag-aaral ng technical skill eh. Inaya ko na yan sa iba. Sabi nga, live and let live. Para yung staff ko manatili sa akin, okay? <laughs> Alright, so that's one. Okay? So, uh, one, one technical skill. Bukas lang po natin. Sanay lang po ah. Okay. 
yung electric pan buhasi. <laughs> Inaan lang natin yung noise. Okay? One technical skill. And second skill na pwede mong gawin is business conceptualization. You don't even know na this exists. Alright? So, may mga companies na nagko-conceptualize ng business. Like, meron ako isang nakikitang uh, website na kung meron kang business idea, bukod sa i-conceptualize pa nila, they will buy it. Alright? So, pwede ka doon mag-apply. Kung meron kang idea on how to form a business, so, you can work on that. Or you can have your own company. You can own your, you can have your own business dealing with that problem. Basta maroon kang tumingin ng ganito. Ang requirement lang po dito, business conceptualization is, uh, hanap ka ng, oh, syempre, meron kang clients that are willing to, to, to pay you and to start their business. So, kung meron mga tao na gusto magsimula ng business, so, yun ang kliyente mo, na hindi nila alam kung paano ang gagawin. May pera sila, they, can, they don't have the idea, hindi nila alam kung ano gagawin nila sa business. So, ang gagawin mo lang, if you are into this field, business conceptualization is, just try to see ano yung needs ng community nila. Okay? Then, try to cons to uh, extract idea. Okay? Then, uh, paano yung details? Paano yung implementation? You just have to train the people. Alright? It's uh, helping the startup business owners. Okay? That's business conceptualization. It's a new field, pero marami nang gumagawa niyan. Na, uh, sa atin na, actually, kung ginagawa ko lang ito, marami na tayong clients. Eh. Marami nagtatanong sa atin, Doc, meron akong uh, 500,000, meron akong 1M, anong gagawin ko? So, I'm not into it pe, pero in the near future siguro, uh, we will be doing this uh, field, okay? So, business conceptualization. It's hard, I know, it's hard. Kasi, um, imagine mo, ayan ang pera, isip ka ng negosyo. Okay, halimbawa, taga Davao sila. So, pumunta ka ng Davao, try to see anong pwede meron doon, anong needs ng community doon, then, paano yung gagawin nilang anong business ang mag fit doon. So, something like that. So, it's not an easy task, it's not an easy skill, but it's high-paying. Alright? So, it's high-paying uh, uh, skill, okay? Alright, so, next number three, eto, this is something new also, transferring business. I heard it from one of the companies na naka-meeting natin sa Makati, uh, sa, sa GBC. I supposed to have a meeting with the CEO, pero yung uh, isa na lang sa mga managers niya yung naipag-meet sa akin. So, ito pala yung, ito yung work nila. I thought kasi uh, it's purely investment, pero may kasama palang ganito ang company nila. So, they are into transferring business. For example, uh, merong isang family, gusto nang i-transfer yung business niya sa mga anak niya. So, nandun sila sa middle. Okay? And, uh, isa pa na negosyo nila is, kung alimbawa, ang business mo medyo nahihirapan na siya, so, you want to sell it and it transfer nila sa ibang client. So, something like that. It's business, uh, business, transferring business. Okay? So, actually, mga clients nila not only sa Pilipinas, but international. So, it's a new concept. Okay? So, medyo, hard siya kasi imagine arali may mga detalye noon the legal uh, the legal aspect of it then yung mga terms and conditions so something like that but you have to learn okay and you can learn it lahat naman ng bagay dito sa mundo sabi ko natututunan natin yan eh if you just have a willing heart na gusto mo lang gusto mo yung isang bagay na yan kaya mo matutunan okay next right so eto for a year eto yung nakita ko na isang uh, pwedeng high uh, high income okay uh, organizing an NGO. I used to work in an NGO for a year in Manila. So, nakatatlo akong NGO. First is I'm a assistant program manager sa funded ng World Bank. Then, community development specialist. Then, uh, executive director. So, lahat na yan NGO yan. And it's high paying. Then, nung nandun ako, sabi ko, kasi ang ganda na ang position ko, executive director, community development specialist, assistant program manager. So, nasa second to the top, yung sa uh, next to the president is uh, executive director niya ako. So, naisip ko, sabi ko, uh, parang I want to put up my own. So, naganap ako sa mga, nag-research ako, meron mga, meron talaga mga funding agencies na nagahanap to organize NGO or to manage an NGO. So, kung meron kang, meron kang heart, okay, to help the people. Kasi NGO is more on service, eh. So, you want to help the, in the grassroots particularly. 
So if you want to go to the uh, remote places, for example, sa Bicol, ang ginagawa namin doon is uh, we are teaching people. Yung mga nanay doon, uh, we're teaching livelihood. Sa ibang lugar naman, when I went to CDO, doon naman sa uh, uh, environment is we're teaching them how to, you know, have a livelihood na pang environment. So using the, the resources they have. So something like that, okay? So a service nga lang, pero mahal naman ang bayad sa'yo. So that time, pag ano, uh, yung ibang naghahanap, euro ang bayad eh. And funded by other, like EU, European Union, World Bank, so malaking bayad yan, okay? So you just have to have a heart, okay? And, and organize it na talagang dedicated ka, okay? Dedicated ka talaga dun sa craft na yon and you will earn a lot of money, alright? Next, yan. So another is number five is SCO, okay? Chief Operating Officer, okay? This is a great experience, but it's a lot, uh, it requires a lot of hard work. Yung kahit na ikaw yung una at huling, unang dumarating sa office at huling umuwi sa office, lahat hawak mo finances, lahat uh, operations, clients, marketing, lahat ng the entire operations of one company is ikaw may, ha may hawak. Okay? But that's rewarding. Imagine you are, you know, you are on top of everything. But it requires a lot of uh, skills like communication, negotiations, lahat na yan. So, soft skill, technical skill, dapat at least may knowledge ka. Lalo yung soft skill. That is, ang tawag na daw nila doon is essential skills, not no longer, uh, ang tawag, no longer soft skill. Essential skills like uh, dealing with people, negotiating with people, so yun mga soft skills or essential skills na tinatawag, okay? So, dapat meron ka. Pero, if you can have it in your, you can prove one uh, na, na manage mo isang company, you can transfer to bigger company, that's a good credential. It's hard, but it's high paying, alright? So, marami na tayo nakita ganyan na nag-COO na, you know, na nagtagumpay sila and they are transferring from small company to bigger company okay and next yan so ito ito yung ginagawa ni Doc ngayon is consultancy pero I'll be giving you different field okay so yung ako kasi I'm a business consultant okay uh, yeah so if you want if you have a business right now uh, gustong mag improve yung sales niya so you want to focus on people management marketing uh, redeveloping your 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 product or your services and um, uh, developing or forming your vision mission or a strategic objective so I can do that so yun yung 40 ni Doc okay so business consultancy and school consultancy okay but there are other consultancy skill na uh, in demand ngayon na hindi mo alam for example uh, yan so image uh, image consultant okay so image image consultant uh, May napanood akong video kahapon. Ang laki nang hinikita niya sa image consultant. Actually, I hired image consultant a uh, few years, few months back. Okay? So, hanggang ngayon na rin naman. Kaya, ano eh, kahapon na sinagtali ako ng buhok. So, kinonsult ko muna yung aking consultant. <laughs> so, may, it's, it's a new thing. Pero, if you have, ang client mo dito, mga aspiring uh, speakers, aspiring entrepreneur, na gusto nilang, you know, maka-develop ng brand, okay? Image consultant, eto ba, meron palang color consultant. <laughs> so, hindi natin nakalaay, meron palang ganun. Like, for example, tama bang naka-checkered ako, o naka-gray ako, naka-black ako, naka-white ako, with my com complexion, at sa atin ng kong meeting, sa atin ng kong uh, seminar, something like that. So, hindi lang pala nagdadamit. Meron ding color consultant. Bukod sa, akala ko yun na yung pinakamaarte kong nagawa sa buhay ko to hire a, uh, an image consultant. Meron pa pala color consultant. So, uh, baka meron ka color consultant dyan, no? Tama po ba yung color ko? Okay. At meron pa rin youth or young people consultant. Yung mga parents, they are hiring consultant para i-guide yung mga anak nila on business, on uh, investment, on corporate world, so something like that. So, you just have to explore. Ano yung expertise mo? Okay? So, diyan mo na ilagay mo na diyan. For example, ikaw yung uh, mahusay ka sa investment. So, investment consultant ka. Mahusay ka sa speaking, sa voice. Eh, di voice consultant ka. Ito, yung beat. Voice consultant ka. I have one friend na voice consultant. Okay? So, marami kang pwedeng field dito. Ang, ang mahirap lang siya kasi you have to have the skill per se. Okay? So, dapat you are manifesting that. Kung image consultant ka, dapat sobrang maayos ang image mo color mo, 
kung color consultant ka, may isang buhay mo and everything, alright? So, yun na si-share mo, okay? Next, of course, is as a speaker. Okay? It's hard actually. Uh, I do a lot of studies here. So, doon ngayon, nagtitraining na ako. If you want to become a speaker and also a consultant, I'm doing online coaching. Katatapos lang namin nung isa taga-Australia. So, yun. Okay? Ang uh, tag dito. So, you can... Uh, you can have it. You can... I mean, pwede kang maging uh, speaker. Diba? So, pwede kang... Uh, if you have one uh, area na expert ka, yun ang share mo. Right? And, uh, as a coach, yeah, as a coach, di ba? So, personal coach, life coach, pwede, investment coach. So, marami. Kung sabi ko, uh, wellness coach, diet coach, kung ano yung area mo, i-label mo yung sarili mo na coach, di ba? So, I'm a wealth coach. I'm a career coach before. So, ngayon, pinagsama na lang natin. I'm a life coach, right? So, yun yung mga tatlong ano ni Doke. Eh, uh, hard-earned skills. Hard skills but high-paying. As a business consultant, speaker, and a coach, right? And last, ito, bonus natin. Fund manager, okay? Fund manager. Uh, I also encountered it when I was in Manila sa NGO. Marami din, kaya alam niya marami din ako nag-experience sa Manila. I did not regret na nawala yung item ko sa private public school, na nahirapan ako, sobrang nahirapan ako. One of the hardest experiences ko yung sa Manila. Pero ang dami ko natutunan. So, meron kami doon tawag namin eh, Grant Administrator, GA. So, ito naman yung mga funding din ng NGO. Fund manager ang tawag. So, kung merong NGO dyan sa paligid mo, Okay? Or kung may makita ka, ang dami naman niya, mag-search ka lang. So, you can apply as grant administrator. So, basically, mga accountant ang hinahanap dyan. Okay? So, it's just proper allocation of the grant. Kasi dapat nalagahan natin ng grants eh. Like, yung mga galing nga, yung galing sa mga World Bank, sa EU. So, dapat inalagahan natin yan. So, meron, bukod dun sa organizer ng NGO, meron pang fund administrator or grant administrator. Okay? So, you're handling the money, right? So, dapat nang alam, expert ka sa field na yan, okay? So, these are the nine. At marami pa, alam ko, marami pang consultancy na hindi pa natin na-explore, but these things are, you know, are important. So, you you pick. So, alin dyan ang kaya mo, okay? So, let's say, for example, Doc, kaya ko siguro as speaker, okay? I can coach you, okay? Pwede kita i-coach. Or technical skill, pwede kang... So, uh, mag-enroll yan. May mga short-term naman na courses dyan o may mga consultant din siguro dyan. You just have to just enroll. Okay? Alright? So, like dito sa technical skill, may ka-partner tayo si Ma'am Dearly Plinky. Connect kita sa kanya Facebook ads. Uh, Facebook advertising. Okay? Alright. So, malaga meron tayong isa o dalawa nito to to be you know, para high paying siya para magawa natin ang gusto natin buhay. Tandaan natin, uh, having money is not the end. It's just a tool. Money is just a tool para magawa natin ang gusto natin gawin, para maging masaya tayo, makapag-mission tayo sa buhay, makatulong tayo sa iba. That's always our, the desire of our heart. Okay? Alright, so kung gusto mo magpaturo kung paano gawin niya mga yan, I can be your coach, I can be your mentor. Okay? Alright, so please share this video sa lahat maibigan natin, kahit OFW o dito sa Pilipinas, para sama-sama tayong mabago at mula natin buhay. Thank you very much, Jilly Enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah? Let's go, let's go.